everyone and welcome back to sketch by sketch today we're doing a video i have been talking about for a few weeks now um, a subscriber requested that i draw baby yoda um, from the mandalorian disney plus tv show um, so here it is i hope you're happy uh, this is not something i would have ever come up with really but i think it's a cute idea and i'm super excited to get into this video um, if you're wondering, yes, I have Disney Plus and I have watched the first season. It's not my favorite show. Like, I love Star Wars a lot. Um, I can't really get into this for some reason. Um, it's cool. It has its cool moments and everything. But for some reason, I just can't really get into the show. Um, let me know if you guys watch it and what you think of it, um, if you have. Um, but we're going to start off the actual drawing with just trying to draw Baby Yoda. I mean, I've never really drawn anything like this. I usually draw people. Um, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you probably know that. Um, so I kind of just wanted to get down the basic ideas and shapes um, so that we can uh, draw it in different poses and have just a good base of how to draw it. So this first one, I have to say, turned out a little rough. Um, but first time I haven't drawn all day, still kind of warming up a little bit, so that's all right. I definitely recommend, um, before you start like a big drawing like this, um, or a big sketchbook spread, maybe warming up your wrist with drawing on like some post, post-it notes or note cards or something like that. I usually do that, I just didn't have time today, uh, cause I was also doing mermaids drawing for the last day of mermaid, cause this was filmed yesterday. Um, and I was also doing some other stuff, so I didn't really have time to do that. So um, it's always good to just kind of warm up a little bit before you start a big project. If you're wondering what supplies I'm using, I'm using the Prismacolor Color Race Colored Pencils. I always use these. I have the 24 set of them, and I use all the colors. I love them so much. They are great for sketching in these ELO sketchbooks. Um, they don't damage the paper. Uh, you can erase them very easily. They just are really nice um, pencils for sketching. After I have the base done with the Prismacolor Cool Erase, I go in with just a plain mechanical pencil. These are from school. I took them out of my locker. I'm not going to be needing them anymore for a while, so I thought I'd move them into my art desk. Um, they're just really cheap mechanical pencils, but any mechanical pencil works for this, so they're great. Um, I just love going in with the mechanical pencil um, as opposed to like a regular pencil because the lead stays a little bit sharper and you can get cleaner lines with it I think and um, it just it works well with what I'm trying to do. With this I'm still being a little bit sketchy with my lines um, but um, making it more defined and really uh, lining out where uh, ink would be if I were to go a step further and do that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next drawing. I thought I'd actually draw the Mandalorian from the show. I don't actually remember what the comment said. It's been so long. Um, I'm not sure if they wanted me to draw both the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda or just Baby Yoda. But threw it in there just so you guys could see it. This was definitely a struggle. I've never drawn anything like this. And that helmet, as easy as it looks like it may be to draw, if you get it just the slightest bit wrong on the proportions, it doesn't look right, as you can see. Um, so it was very difficult to draw, actually. I didn't expect it to be that hard, but I really did try here. And um, it's kind of cute the way it turns out in the end. Uh, if you've noticed, I've switched to a different mechanical pencil. I use this one for when I want a sketch to not look so refined, when I just want it to look a little bit screwy and messy, because uh, it's a really thick lead. Um, I got this off wish.com. I do not recommend shopping on Wish. I've had some very bad experiences with things I've bought from there and I'm sure many other people have. Um, you can find some good things there, um, like this pencil. I really do love this pencil, but I'm not saying that you will even get the same thing if you order it too because stuff is so sketchy when you order it off there. But um, So that's where I got it from, but you can get these anywhere really. Like the dollar store is a great place to buy. Um, sketching art supplies. I know that sounds weird, but you don't need really expensive art supplies to just sit down and sketch for a little while. Okay, here I'm using my favorite brush marker ever. This is awesome. Um, it is a Pigma Micron, just the brush um, marker. It's got a felt tip. Uh, you can get lots of different line thicknesses, and I just love the way it looks. I never use this for like finished drawings. 
but when I'm sketching in my sketchbook and need to ink something in really fast and don't care if it's like a thick line, um, then I definitely will use this because it's quick, easy, and it makes your drawings automatically look awesome. So just going along and um, filling in the lines, and I am going to go ahead and fill in some of the space black just because I am not going to be coloring this, so it doesn't matter um, as far as like shading and stuff like that goes. This is just to make it look a little bit better in the sketchbook. As you can see, once I added this black, it kind of elevated the drawing and made it look a little bit better. All right, now just going back in with that original mechanical pencil and adding a little bit of shading to his outfit just kind of brings the sketch all together and makes it look really cool. I honestly prefer sketches over uh, like finished illustrations. I think they're awesome and they just look so cool on the page. Okay, now that we have the Mandalorian out of the way and I can say that I've drawn it, let's move back to Baby Yoda and see if we can get a little bit better um, because that first sketch was pretty rough. So I want to just do kind of a simple pose here, keeping everything really simple, just because I've never drawn this before, and yes, maybe after this I would go into detail and do something a little bit more adventurous. I'm going to keep it nice and simple and cute for this first round of drawing him. I'm going to be drawing all of the Baby Yoda sketches with this green color race pencil just because, well, he's green and I can use it for shading to give some color to the page. Another way that I love to add color to my page is either uh, brush markers, um, like the Ohuhu brush markers. I really love them. They have a brush tip and a fine tip on one side and um, they come in tons of colors but they're not extremely expensive at all but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative Amazon has these really just generic ones for about $12 for a whole bunch of them they all look the same but they have like different brands they're not real brands they're just kind of weird uh, you'll see those though uh, probably if you search for them I have a set of those that have lasted me probably three years now so they last a long time, uh, the tips are definitely falling apart, but uh, they seem to be pretty good for what I use them for. I never use them to actually color anything in, I just use them for like backgrounds and adding just a little pop of color to something um, and to fill in some white space in the sketchbook. I really don't like there to be a ton of white space while I'm drawing, it just kind of makes the page look empty and um, I just like it to look a little bit more full. Um, so I know that I'm getting the most out of my sketchbook. Another thing you can use to add some color to your sketches is watercolor. Um, make sure your paper will hold up to the watercolor. Um, I've definitely tested that in my ELO. And I have a video coming up, I'm actually filming it this afternoon, um, of watercolor in the ELO sketchbook. So uh, subscribe so you don't miss that. But uh, just make sure your paper will hold up to it and it is a great way to add a little pop of color. Okay, I think that sketch turned out a little bit better, but let's just keep going and make sure we really know what we're doing before we start any um, finished drawings. Here, I saw this one on Pinterest actually. It's just like a back view, um, just kind of interesting. I wanted to draw something a little bit different so this page did not look like it had a whole bunch of the same drawing on it. Um, so I think this one turned out super cute actually, even though it was so simple. Um, still using the same techniques with the uh, pencil and mechanical pencil. Um, you can really get some different line thicknesses and different uh, shades with those mechanical pencils and that's one of the reasons why I love to use them so much. Um, because as you can see, especially in this drawing, I did some cross hatching for the background and it got pretty dark, but there's also some really light shading on like his outfit, which I think looks really interesting and um, it's really visually appealing. Also, if you're noticing cuts in the video, I'm not taking anything out really. I, uh, I just had to check my phone a few times during this video. Again, lots of texts and emails and stuff everything going on right now so um that's what i'm doing on um, the last few videos i've had to do that a lot 
Um, but I didn't feel like stopping the video each time I had to look at my phone or something like that. So that's what's going on there. Um, sorry about that. Um, but you're not missing anything from the video. Over here, we're doing the last sketch of this page. It's a little Yoda peeking out of the side. It's so cute. Um, I think this one, it's still like a front facing face, but it added something a little bit different so it didn't look just like the other ones. And I think this one turned out really cute in the end. I am going to go ahead and cut right here because all you can see is my hand and I'll see you when this drawing is done. Alright, so let's move on to the next page now that we somewhat know what we're doing, not really, <laughs> but um, we're going to try to do some more finished pieces of Baby Yoda and maybe add a little bit of color, not sure yet what's going to happen, but we're going to try it out and see what we can do. Now I took some inspiration for the next few drawings from an artist, I don't even know who it was, but he drew Baby Yoda with a whole bunch of treats from Disney World, like candy and drinks and ice cream and all that stuff so um a few of these were kind of inspired by that um because i thought they were so cute but i've seen other artists actually recreate them so i think it's okay um i didn't like trace it or anything just kind of used it as a loose reference so i think it's totally fine um like i mentioned in my last video if you guys ever see something that i've drawn that you guys like go ahead and draw it in your own style i'm not one of those people that's going to get mad over that um, just if you are posting it on social media, please give me credit, um, shout out the channel and my name, sketch by sketch, but yeah, go ahead and draw it, um, you don't have to ask permission. Um, if you want to, let me know in the comments that you are going to redraw it, um, I love to hear that from you guys, but I'm never going to get mad about that, and um, I think it's really great that you guys want to recreate something I've drawn. Here, I am going to go ahead and ink in this drawing. Um, I'm going to do that with all of them um, because I want these to look a little bit more finished than the other page. So we're going in with Pigma Micron um, liners. This is in a 0.8 size. That's my favorite size um, other than the brush tip like I mentioned earlier. Uh, this one's just really great for basic outlining and I think that it is a good line thickness. I've been using these for a couple years now. I honestly still don't know how they are working. Um, I've had them for so long and I've used them a lot really um, but yeah they're still working I've made it through like four sketchbooks with them um, so I guess that is a good use of money <laughs> uh, I know a lot of these pens dry out really quickly like even the Copic ones I've had to replace one of those before which was a serious bummer because those are expensive um, so I've kind of gotten away from using those as much and we're kind of using the cheaper stuff just because I don't like to have to replace my art supplies so much and if it is an expensive brand then that's not fun to have to always be replacing your supplies. Okay, this next one has to be my favorite. It is the cutest thing ever. It's Baby Yoda with an ice cream cone. How much cuter could it be? I mean, really. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, this is again one of those ones I saw on Pinterest so cute. Um, I think Baby Yuta is absolutely adorable anyways. And then you add ice cream and it just sends it over the edge. <laughs> just had to draw this when I saw it. So we're just sketching that out here. Um, and we're going to add some line art to it in a second whenever I get it done. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, I thought I'd talk about the channel just a little bit while this is going on because this is kind of boring um, watching me sketch and just do line art so um let's just talk about some stuff like that right now um i am working i know i always say i'm working on something um i really am it just takes a little while like this it took about two weeks of me talking about it to do it um so uh it will happen all this stuff i'm talking about you just got to give me a little bit of time but we're working on celebrity portraits i've been practicing a little bit um and I'm really excited to do these. I do need your guys' input, though. If you um, could leave me a comment, please let me know what celebrity you would like me to draw. Um, I didn't specify this before. I'm kind of thinking actors and actresses. I don't listen to a ton of music or anything like that. So um, probably not any like artists, dancers, stuff like that. Um, just let's keep it more towards actors, actresses. I love all your requests, but that's more of what I am into um, and want to draw. 
Um, so let's do some of those requests. And um, do you want to see them done digitally or traditionally? I know you guys, um, some of you like me to draw digital and some of you like just the traditional sketches like this video. So uh, let me know what you're thinking on that and what you would like to see and I'll definitely take it into consideration. Also, if you were to leave me a request and tell me what kind of drawing you want me to do, then I could do that, um, your request with your uh, medium. So if you want to leave me that, I will try to do it. I already have a request of Johnny Depp, um, which I love Pirates of the Caribbean, so I will probably be drawing that for sure. I liked that request. It was something a little bit different. So um, let me, I don't remember who left me that comment, but if you're watching this right now, let me know what kind of medium you would like me to do it in, and we'll see what we can do. Very excited for all of that to start happening and it will be happening soon, so be patient. I also received a request to do some colored pencil tutorials, which I don't do a lot of colored pencils, so I'm not sure if I'm exactly qualified to do a tutorial on them, but um, you guys asked for it, so I'm willing to give it a shot and hopefully you guys will enjoy it once that happens. That'll be a little while probably on that video. Um, I'm going to have to practice a little bit and write down all the things I want to talk about in the video, but that is something to look forward to. A um, few other things that I am not going to talk about right now, but some cool things that are going to be coming soon. We're coming to a close here with the line art. I'm almost done with all that. It takes quite a while to sketch and do the line art for these, but they're pretty much done at this point. They look super cute. Look how cute that is. I just love them so much. Um, here, I'm pulling out my sheet of cardstock so it doesn't bleed to the other side because guess what? We're using markers. Super exciting. I love my markers, love to use them. Um, sorry about the lighting right here, didn't look at my camera, it's really bad lighting, and the camera angle is not good right now, so really sorry about that, didn't even realize I was doing it, but um, hopefully you can still see what I'm doing and enjoy this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how I'm doing this, um, this is my Artify Fine Tip Chisel Tip Markers, these are alcohol based, talked about them before in different videos. Um, I really like these markers. I think they are great for what I'm doing right now. Haven't had much troubles with them yet. Um, I'm just going in with a very uh, basic color for this, a green. I tested it out on that little paper you can see at the top of the screen. I just keep that with my sketchbook so I can test out all my colors um, before I use them. Um, and we're just gonna go in and lay a basic color, being really careful of the line art, not to smudge it. Um, you can see on that top drawing, I smudged the ink a little bit, but that's okay, it's just a sketch. We don't have to worry about it. Um, also, I'm leaving a little bit of white. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of white space. It's completely random, but it helps us look a little bit more sketchy and like a sketch and not so finished, so that when we don't add a ton of shading and stuff, this kind of still looks okay and it doesn't look unfinished. So pretty much just going in and adding flat colors right now. Um, that's all I'm doing. It's pretty basic. You guys can do this with any medium you like, watercolor, acrylic paint, um, pencils, whatever you want. This, uh, this uh, goes with pretty much anything. That pink was a little bright, I have to say. Kind of wish I wouldn't have added that color, but I had already done it. I forgot to test the color, and that's what happens, so just gotta go with it. <laughs> Always test your colors, even if you've made like a swatch sheet. I feel like the colors can fade over time, and they uh, don't look the same um, sometimes when you put them on different kinds of paper. So I just uh, keep that little piece of paper, like I said, and I test most of my colors um, before I use them just so I know what they're going to look like and I don't mess up my drawing. Let me know down below what your favorite kind of art medium is and the brand. Um, maybe I have it and maybe I could do like a little review or tutorial with it. Um, I really, really like requests. Um, I was getting a ton of them for a little while and then some people kind of like didn't leave them anymore. I don't know if they felt like they were 
leaving too many, but no, it's fine. Um, if you want to leave me a comment or something you want me to review or look at or do, just let me know. I'm super excited to see it and I would love to do your video request as long as I have the materials to do it. We're all still in quarantine and I don't feel like buying any art supplies at the moment, so probably can't buy anything new, but if I happen to have it, um, I could probably do a review or tutorial on it, so just let me know what you guys are thinking and what you want me to do and we'll see if we can make that happen. These drawings are turning out super cute. The camera angle is kind of weird so you can't see them as well as I can, but super cute. I think they're adorable. Here I'm going in with just a slightly darker green color and not really shading, just adding a little tiny bit of a darker color to add some depth to this so it doesn't look so flat. Um, but just finishing up here, nothing too uh, crazy. There's a lot of white space right now, so I think we need to add a little bit of a background. I'm uh, just going to go in with some blue, I think, because that color would really look nice uh, up against the green and the browns. So that is what we're going to do to finish this up. Whoever requested, I'm so sorry, I do not remember. Whoever requested this video, thank you so much for doing that. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I hope it was what you wanted it to be. Um, I hope everyone else enjoyed. Um, again, leave those requests down below. I talked about a lot of new things coming, so you want to make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss it. Um, I post uh, a few times a week, so um, you want to make sure you get to see all of that. Uh, some super fun stuff coming up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!